Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add an Opportunity Contact Role ID to your reports. Let's dive right in. First, when you're in Setup, go to the Object Manager. Click on the Quick Find and type in Contact Role. And as you can see, click on Opportunity Contact Role. Go to Fields and Relationships, click on that, click on New, and we are going to make a formula field. So click on Formula, and then click on Next. Okay, here we're just going to give it a name. Call it Contact Role ID, and it is going to be a text. Go to next. We're going to pick a function. So let's pick case safe ID as it describes converts a 15 character ID into a case insensitive 18 character ID. So that's what we need. Insert and uh, let's get the field. So this is the main one. Go to contact role ID and here's the API. And you want to just cl simply click uh, insert. Okay, so I'm just gonna type that in. And yeah, there it is. Next, you want to click on click the check syntax. Okay, no syntax error. Just say a contact rule ID. Go to uh, go to next. I'm going to keep it as it is. Go to next. Yep, keep it on this layout. Save. All right. So created that. Next, most importantly, we do need to create a custom report type. Now, it is necessary so we can add the uh, contact role ID to the uh, report type. Um, you will notice that we do have a standard report type called opportunities with contact roles. However, anything standard in Salesforce is not customizable. So I'm going to do that real quick. So if you are not sure how to create a report type or a custom report type, I should say, I will leave a video link in the description for you on how to create it and uh, how to add the field. So I will do this quickly. All right, so I just created the uh, custom report type and added the field to the report type. So let's find a opportunity, which I do have one right here. And let's add a contact role. Add contact role. Let's just do bar by v by. Save. All right, so she is added. Let's go into reports. So I just created the uh, report type. And as you can see, uh, contact role ID and the opportunity name. And uh, yeah, you see the contact role ID from uh, reports. So let's pick this one, highlight this one. And I want to know if it appears. Paste. Awesome. Here's the ID as well. Now you're probably wondering why do this? Well, I find this to be uh, easier to retrieve the contact role ID rather than running a SQL query or uh, going into data loader and um, exporting it out. Um, it's easier to just grab it from reports uh, as salesforce.com uh, record IDs are static. So I wouldn't say there would be any implications to this. So yeah, it's quite simple. But I will leave more details in the descriptions and any resources um, in the description. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you in the next one.